There are a lot of things that I would do if I had Scarlett Johansson's voice in my ear doing whatever I wanted. Her is directed by Spike Jones and stars Joaquin Phoenix, Amy Adams, Chris Pratt, and the voice of Scarlett Johansson. This is a vision of the not so distant future where Joaquin Phoenix gets this OS system that he uploads to his computer. It's kind of like its own sentient being. It is an AI, it has a lot of intelligence, it has the ability to evolve and learn things. You can pick a male voice or a female voice. He of course picks a female voice and that is Scarlett Johansson and they strike up a relationship together. And this relationship goes in a lot of really interesting ways and you get to learn a lot about humans and technology and the way those two things are starting to become one in certain ways. Her is an excellent movie, and one of the reasons I love this movie so much is because of the realistic characters. I really started to believe that these people were real, even Scarlett Johansson's character, Samantha. I completely bought her as a being, even though it was just her voice. I heard a lot of Oscar buzz about her voice work, which is, you know, a rarity, but she really was great in this movie. Joaquin Phoenix, once again, this guy is an actor, and he can really inhabit a character. And I totally believe this was a real person. That's one of the great things about the way this film was directed and written, both by Spike Jones. His characterizations were so interesting and really believable, and I loved the humor in the movie, too. It was also a very funny movie. That was something that surprised me, because I knew it was gonna be kind of silly and fun, but I was really surprised at all the humor that was in it, and a lot of it was really gut-busting to me. But what really struck me about this movie was just how invested I was in this relationship. I can't believe that just her voice and this guy, and that's all I needed, I was so invested emotionally. It really blew me away because it's kind of tough to think about that, you know? It's really just a voice in his ear, but you get to watch his character grow and change so much through her, and she does the same thing. And she has all these really interesting ways of learning about life, and it's so, original, really. I haven't seen a movie quite like this, and I think that's a cause to celebrate this movie, because I think it's pretty cool that they're able to still make awesome original ideas. Even if it is twisted around certain things that we've seen before, that's basically what all movies are. It's just a different version of something we've seen before. But this movie felt so new and fresh. Joaquin Phoenix, as I said, was terrific in the movie. It's really beautifully written. It's wonderfully shot. I really like the music by Arcade Fire. Also, Amy Adams and Chris Pratt were really good in the movie, too. They had sort of small roles. Amy Adams' role was definitely more important, and she was terrific in the movie. All in all, I wish there were more movies like her, because it's just a different movie that you can really get into. As I watched it, I just kept thinking to myself, I really am into this world and into these characters, and I really started to care about all these people, and that's what I want from a movie, a movie to transport me to a place that feels real, that actually feels inhabitable, and that's what her did for me. I thought it was a terrific movie. If you guys get a chance to see it, it is finally opening wide. It took forever to come to me. It opened December 18th in New York and LA. I've been like, ah, I want to see this movie. It was terrific. I'm going to give it an A. So guys, if you have seen the movie, let me know what you thought of it below. What's your thoughts on the way humans and technology are going? Because the movie has a lot of shots just showing humans staring into their phones, and you see that a lot even nowadays, and it's, it's definitely got some stuff to say about that. Guys, thanks very much for watching, and as always, if you like this, you can click right here and get stuck manized. <laughs>so really quick, I want to let you guys know something pretty cool that I'm very happy about. The website audible.com has chosen to sponsor my videos. They like what I'm doing and they want to help me, basically. And through me, they're allowing any of my viewers to get a free audio book. If you guys want to download an audio book, it's completely free. They've given me my own URL address that you can go to and it's literally just my gift to you through Audible. If you like audio books, if you like hearing your favorite stars read certain books, you can do that through audible.com to your phone or tablet. I've left that link in the description below. It is audible.com slash Chris. That's audible.com slash Chris. If you guys want a free book, that's awesome. These guys like my videos. I like them. I've used them in the past as a service. I really like the book Carrie. Sissy Spacek actually reads it, which is pretty awesome. If you guys would also like a free audiobook, you can go to that link. You can support me. You can support Audible at the same time because they like what I'm doing here, and that's awesome. Thank you very much, guys. Have a good day.